There's all kinds of beautiful creatures that come out only after a good rain down here in the lower Rio Grande Valley. So uh, hopefully, uh, of course, a northern cat-eyed snake would also be lovely. And a uh, big rattlesnake, I'd be happy with it. I like big rattlesnakes. So we'll see what we can't find down here. McCook County is where we're at tonight. So see what happens. Tragic. It's horrible that people uh, leave their animals on the side of the road. Uh, I've rescued uh, kittens, uh, two dogs. It's a shame, people. This one's too scared to come up. I have some extra dog food, but it, it won't come up. Gotta love this. This is uh, South Texas uh, snake hunting. We're down here um, looking for some critters. It'd always be nice to have something to feed these guys, but uh, they look like they're pretty well fed, you know. Got us some South Texas cows. There. Ain't got nothing for you. Sorry. <laughs> you got nothing for you. Where are the snakes at? <laughs> what we have here is a, a couch's spade foot code. I think that's the way they call it. Um, if you hear it, it's got. A, these guys have a defensive croak that makes them unique also if you look very closely there are no venom glands it's it's probably still got some sort of uh, defensive uh, see you can see it salivating up there but the venom glands are not pronounced as they are in uh, other species. Um, this is definitely gravid. <laughs> and um, it's uh, kind of a dead ringer for, uh, according to Myra, she says, whenever you see these, you'll see Lepidira. So there's a little trick of the trade, anybody out here. And um, I'm not positive this is gravid. This might be a defensive mechanism it might be bloating itself up. Oh. <laughs> Poor little guy. I'm gonna get him off the ground before I hurt him anymore. <laughs> what we have here is a large wolf spider. see they have nice nice sharp fangs and that is a pretty good size one right there we'll let it get on its way here we've got a uh, leopard frog I'm gonna use him for gar fishing bait and uh, see if they take at. Uh, these guys are poisonous however if you uh, see your cats chewing on them they will uh, kill your cats so something to keep in mind wish me luck gar fishing <laughs> you want to be careful not to get uh, rub your eyes after playing with them toads because it will light your ass up let me tell you gotta love that and I know better just uh those toads are poisonous gotta be aware of that now my eyes gonna be burning for a couple hours but oh well <laughs> part of it
Here we have uh, a couple of Texas toads on the road. And I'm gonna go ahead and put them towards the way that they're facing. Let me get this other one. Actually, uh, that may be two different species there. There's about five different here in the valley. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and help it across. We've seen a lot of them splat on the road tonight. So we're gonna go ahead and let it across the road the way it was pointing. Yeah, I'm actually, uh, I'm a little careful when I'm moving them off the road um, because sometimes they might be trying to get to the other side. So uh, sometimes you uh, might think that you're helping these uh, creatures by moving them off the road when they're just, it's the third person that stopped and helped them across the road and it's the wrong way. So, you know, you got to be careful uh, you're not moving them off to the wrong side of the road. So, um, I let him kind of naturally make its way over there. You know, if it would have uh, tried going the other way across the road, I would have went ahead and helped it across the other way. So just something to keep in mind. If you're moving turtles or uh, frogs off the road, you know, kind of kind of see if there's any water around that they're moving towards and help them towards the water. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and here we have a Scolopendra. Whenever you hear me talking about these guys. <laughs> Ooh. These are what I'm talking about. These pack a good wallop. Let me tell you, you do not want these guys to dig into you. <laughs> he did not want to go back in there. Ooh. <sighs> you want to be very gentle with these guys because they are delicate. Here's one that we're going to we're going to be getting to a good buddy of mine for a little project he's got and uh, hopefully th that egg sac will be viable and these um, they're latrodectus I guess is what you'd call them uh, many different subspecies uh, these are interesting they have a stripe on the top of their abdomen as well as underneath She's not necessarily going to leave her egg sac. Here we have some striped bark scorpions. We're going to be shipping those to a buddy of mine, David Gray. He has a venom study and uh, he likes anything uh, venomous. So we're going to send him some of these South Texas scorpions.